In fact, there are not so many borrowed Russian words in Korean language. Russian remains quite unfamiliar language for South Koreans because of history of Cold War, when contacts between the two countries were frozen for almost 50 years. But Russian words and Russian language are very popular in North Korea because of Soviet influence. When South Korean people borrowed new words from American English, North Korean people borrowed words from Russian language. For example, winter shoes are boots in South Korea, but they are called walenki in North Korea. Walenki, walenki is traditional Russian winter shoes. And sausage is called sausage in South Korea, but it is kolbase in the North Korea after Russian word kolbasa. Even English words in North Korean language were borrowed from Russian language, so they know them in Russian pronunciation. For example, campaign in North Korea is kampania after Russian word. That's why North Korean refugees, when they arrive here, they are very confused about many American words in South Korea. I think after unification, Russian language will help people of unified Korea to understand each other. So Gyeong University, we developed interesting courses for students, phonetics, grammar, conversation, but also they learn about Russian literature, art, cinema, economics and geography. Welcome to Russian major. You will make good friends and learn unique language. До свидания.